I need you to learn to be okay hanging out with you. Stop thinking that you need someone else to complete you. Love yourself enough to be okay if it's just you, yourself, and you. Be strong enough to roll alone. Sometimes you don't need a crew. Figure out what it is that you like to do and do it. And when the drama comes, if you have your own back, I promise you will get through it. You don't need no one else's validation. You are the stamp. And you will win because you were born a champ. So from this day forward, love yourself more, period. Know your worth and force the world to take you serious. Because seriously, when you're okay in your own skin, that's when the universe, that's when God will allow those major blessings to start rolling in. See, for far too long, you've been hating yourself on the inside. Well, today that all stops because this is your daily dose of self-pride. This is your daily dose of self-worth. This is death to the old you and life to your rebirth. Stop blaming yourself. Stop disrespecting yourself. Stop shaming and neglecting yourself. Start claiming yourself. Start resurrecting yourself. Start reframing, healing, and protecting yourself. Love you some you because you're valued and you matter. And block out all that ignorance and negative chatter. And when they try to rain on your parade, you tell them raindrops to scatter because the new you has arrived and you're starting a new chapter. And in your vocabulary, the word lonely is no longer valid. The words no and more self-love have been added. Don't you realize the champion in you is undisputed? So please find love in yourself and stop calling Cupid because you are God's gift and God don't make no junk. God don't make no mistakes and you are way too real to keep rolling with them fakes. See, I'm just dropping by to give you some feel-good energy and remind you to love yourself and stop being your own worst enemy. This is a great day to win. Let's go. I love you just the way this one you are. is definitely designed to make you feel good about the presence and gift of you. This is a feel good, high self-esteem day. And since you're too humble to do it, let me brag on you for a few brief moments and remind you of the awesomeness of you. Remind you of the greatness of you. Remind you of all the goodness that you bring to this world. Remind you that you are special that you are worthy, that you are enough, that you are the one, you are a work of art, you are a masterpiece, and your ultimate goal in life is to master peace of mind. So my job is to make sure that outer smile that you show to the world has a matching inner smile. And I know sometimes you forget, and sometimes people try to break you down, people try to wear you out, People try to lower your self-esteem. But like I said earlier, this is a high self-esteem day. So it's my job to make sure you feel good about you. I love that song by Billy Joel, where he says, I love you just the way you are. And then he says, don't go changing, trying to please me. Well, I'm telling you, don't go changing trying to please the world. Don't go changing trying to please another person. Make sure you love yourself just the way you are. And then make the necessary adjustments along the way. As a matter of fact, I want you to change the lyrics of that song and sing to yourself loud and proud. I love me just the way I am. Imperfections and all. Because you are imperfectly perfect. And that's okay. People will try to beat you down and batter you and bruise you and mentally attack you for their personal gain. But that's not flying today. 
because today it's all about you and I'm your personal cheerleader reminding you of the greatness of you because you are phenomenal. I want you to understand this. You have a smile that can light up the world. Any room you enter is better because you're in it. See, the winner is you and the loser is any negative force that tries to stop you from achieving your positive breakthrough. So embrace the best you and erase the mess you. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go. Self-love is the best love. This we know to be true. So here are a few of my favorite self-love quotes that I wrote especially for you. Number one, we don't do drama, only positive vibes. We love ourselves immensely and continue to rise. Number two, the champion in you is undisputed. So please find love in yourself. Stop calling Cupid. Number three, never underestimate the beauty of you. Loving yourself in spite of your flaws, that's the duty of you. Number four, today, make yourself the priority. Stop giving other people your power. Snatch back your authority. Number five, God put you here to shine. So please, never let inner doubt or outer hate waste any of your valuable time. Number six, make a daily deposit of love for self to keep growing the bank account of your mental wealth. Number seven, you are phenomenal, you are incredible, and you not being you for them is totally unacceptable. Number eight, I'm just dropping by to say you are one of one, a beautiful treasure, so never feel inferior. You are second to none. Number nine, no need to wear a diamond because you are one. No need to soak up their shade because you were born to shine like the sun. Number 10, the greatness of you has already been certified. So I need you to walk with confidence because you, my friend, are excellence personified. So let these self-love quotes serve as a reminder that you are a true gift. And I need you to do me, no, no, no. But yet I need you to do yourself a huge favor and always love you some you. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Self-love is the best love. And this is a great day to win. If loving yourself is wrong, I know you are not sitting there questioning your love for self. If you don't stop hating on yourself, if you don't stop doubting yourself, if you don't stop disrespecting yourself, if you don't stop starting something, having a setback, and quitting on yourself, I promise you, I'm gonna pull all the hair that I don't have smooth out. Don't you get it? You are a vibe. You are a blessing. You are enough. And I'm telling you right now to your face, you are the, you are the ish. And I need you to start walking in it. I need you to start living in it. it. Reminds me of a song by Luther Ingram. He said, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Well, you need to rewrite that song. And the title of your song is, if loving yourself is wrong, you don't want to be right. 
people are going to do everything in their power to lower your value. Everything in their power to lower your self-esteem. And it's up to you to let all that squawking go in one ear and quickly out the other. Because if loving yourself is wrong, you stand up and scream it as loud as you can. I don't want to be right because I love me. I know who I am. And you cannot belittle me and make me feel less than because I promise you the sum total of me is equal to if not greater than you. If loving yourself is wrong, you never want to be right. See, self-love is not selfish. Matter of fact, self-love is the best love. Because when you love yourself, you can effectively love everybody else. And when you love yourself, the less nonsense, the less BS, the less drama, the less ignorance you will tolerate. You deserve to be happy. So when they try to pull that happiness from you, you dig deep and you snatch your happiness back. And I want to say this from your perspective. You tell them right to their faces, if loving me is wrong, I do not and will not be right. You can't shame me into doing and being who you want me to be. No longer. No more. Enough is enough. I am enough and therefore, I'm standing up for me. Therefore, I'm walking in my light. Therefore, I'm walking in my blessing. Therefore, I'm shining a light on me first. If loving me is wrong, I will never be right. Because you know what? I know it's not wrong. It's the way it was meant to be. Because when I feel good about myself, it allows me to feel good about you. It allows me to pour more into you. It allows me to give more than I've ever given in my life. Stand up for yourself. Love yourself for what you are and stop hating yourself for who you are not. Matter of fact, do yourself and me a huge favor and lock these words in. Be yourself, accept yourself, value yourself, forgive yourself, bless yourself, express yourself, Hug yourself, trust yourself, and above all else, love yourself. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Self-love is the best love. And if loving you is wrong, tell them, I don't want to be right. This is a great day to win. Let's go. Never forget about you. I need you to get your self-love up. Look at you. Just as amazing, just as phenomenal, just as spectacular as you want to be. You know, yeah, they only hate on you because you're the person that they want to be. It's a form of flattery. You should be honored. You're doing something right. Never forget about you. Self-love is your friend. Self-love is not selfish. You have to make sure you're okay. That way you can make sure everybody around you is okay. Add value to yourself, and then you can add value to so many other people. So I'm giving you permission, permission granted, for you to say no. Mm, nada. Mm, mm can't do that. Not right now. It's me time. I'm gonna take me a break. I'm gonna do exactly what I wanna do right now. Because for far too long, I have forgotten about me. I've put my needs and my wants and my desires and my passions on the back burner. That all stops today. I'm not gonna forget about you. Still got mad love for you. Still will do whatever it is you need me to do at the appropriate time. Because right about now, it's all about me. You deserve so much more. Matter of fact, you were put here to win. You were put here to dominate. So stop letting life dominate you. Walk with confidence. 
and be proud of the person you are and be even more proud of the person that you're becoming but you're going to become who you want to be on your own terms not because somebody else says something that you need to change you change the way you feel the way you live the way you are when you want to change it never forget about you and i say it again look at you just as incredible and amazing as you want to be they only hate on you because you're the person that they want to be. So you keep dominating this life and never forget about yourself. Self-love is the best love. And once you subscribe to that thought process, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go. Today I want you to do yourself a huge favor and remember that you are a masterpiece. And any negative energy, negative tension will receive an automatic release. I want you to wrap your arms around yourself. You deserve it. You are special. You are worthy. You are talented. You are enough. And for far too long, You've let everybody else's thought process become yours. You've relied on everybody else to determine and dictate your happiness. That needs to stop today. That don't mean you don't need help from other people. You don't need conversations. You don't need one-on-ones. You don't need information from other people. But do not allow another living human being to dictate the course of your life. Because your life has meaning. Your life has purpose. So not for one second do you ever, ever feel like you're worthless. Stop allowing other people to destroy the way you feel about you. Wrap your arms around yourself. You need it. You have to be there for you. The most important battle you're going to face on a daily basis is not you versus them. It's not you versus the world. It's you versus you. And it's time for you to start winning that battle. And stop allowing the outside voices the outside forces to change the way you feel about you. And if you don't know how to love yourself, it's time to get started. Try something. It's okay to fail, but pick yourself up and keep trying. The best way to start loving you is to start loving you. Right now, you know exactly what you like to do. Start doing it. I know everything may not be rosy. It may not be perfect, but if more times than not, you give yourself some grace. You give yourself some compassion. And you remind yourself, I'm human. I'm gonna make my first share mistakes. But you know what? That does not make me any less worthy to be here and be happy. Wrap your arms around yourself. See, God put you here to shine. So please, never let inner doubt or outer hate take up any more of your valuable time. You are love, and you are loved. And once you understand that thought process, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Wrap your arms around yourself. This is a great day to win. Let's go. Repeat after me. I am everything that they said I couldn't be. I am proud, happy, and excited to be me. I am worthy. I am more than enough. I am resilient. I am mentally tough. I am him. I am her. I'm clarity when life is like a blur. I am strength. I am positive energy. I am aligned with those that create a magical synergy. I am powerful. I am electricity. I am the highest value of my true ethnicity. I'm optimism even on a bad day. I am no it will be okay in the midst of a sad day. I am honored to walk in my purpose. I am mental wealth 
in the face of those that see me as worthless. I am higher calling and many blessings. I am absolutely no time for any stressings. I am comfortable saying no when I don't feel like it. I am destined to be rich. I got the match, watch me strike it. I am value, I am growth, I am belief in me, I am hope, I am God's gift, I am inner peace, I am all ignorance and drama gets an automatic release. I am one of one, a genuine artifact, I am all fear be gone, and that's a fact, I am success. I am woke, I am mentally rich, and never emotionally broke. I am destined for greatness and legacy. I am ignore all jealousy and live my life heavenly. I am calm and serene, like a sensei. I am an overcomer, and I climb the hump and make each and every day of my life And that's the exact reason why this is a great day to win. Let's go. I need you to do yourself a huge favor and make a daily deposit of love for self to keep growing the bank account of your mental wealth. See, the love you have for you should be your top priority. God gifted you with greatness and the ultimate authority to override the ignorance of anyone that tries to break your soul. See, you're a phenomenal person. So let your love for self unfold. You are an unbreakable spirit and your worth is astronomical. And if they feel different, <laughs> you just laugh because those clowns are comical. Show the shrug that pettiness away and show the world the greatness of you on this day and never let the need for another person's approval be the key to your happiness. Remember, you are a priceless jewel. So know your value and cherish your peace of mind. And don't hesitate to say no when you need some you time. Because right now is you time. And don't forget, even in the dark you shine. So keep moving forward and don't press rewind. Find your favorite spot kick back and unwind and love on yourself because you deserve it. This occasion is for you and you only. So take the time to reserve it. This is a self-love moment and I'm giving you permission to own it because when you take care of you, you can take care of everybody else so much better. And if you ever find yourself in need of an uplift, you can always revisit and listen to this letter because it was written exclusively for you to remind you to remove the fakes and to thyself stay true. Love you some you because when you do, the world gets to see the best version of you. Better yet, you get to see the best version of you and you feel a sense of pride and inner peace that's long overdue. So from this day forward, we don't do drama, only positive vibes. You love yourself immensely and continue to rise. So make a daily deposit of love for self to keep growing the bank account of your mental wealth. This is a great day to win. Let's go. Never forget. You are peace on earth. You are more than what diamonds are worth. You are priceless and expensive taste. You are love and God's grace. You are heaven sent, one of one. You are a beautiful smile and a night full of fun. You are him. You are her. You are a billion dollar self-love entrepreneur. 
You are the light in a room full of dark. You are the electricity that came from a spark. You are inspiring and unforgettable, breathtaking, show-stopping, chart-topping, and incredible. You are sunshine after a severe thunderstorm. You are the universe's smile on the day you were born. You are more than you give yourself credit for. As a matter of fact, you're the feeling a person gets when they have a perfect credit score. You are that somebody, the life of the party, the energy in a room full of happiness that's peaceful and godly. You are the resilience to overcome. You are a free spirit that dances to the beat of its own drum. You are everything that you think you are not. You are impossible, like a half-court game-winning shot. You are also the elation that comes after it is made. You are the feeling of pride when someone gets a perfect grade. You are a perfect score. You are never less because you are so much more. You are the inner strength that you never knew you had. You are that hard work that leads to securing the bag. You are the perfect version of you. So never change for them and to thyself stay true. Because this is your movie and you are the star so save a piece of your heart for yourself and never forget who and whose you are. Self-love is the best love. And sometimes you're doubting yourself. Sometimes you just have fallen out of love with yourself. I want you to play this when you need to be reminded of how you should feel about you. Here are 10 self-love affirmations. Number one, the better you love yourself, the better you will be for everyone else. Love you some you. Because when you love yourself, it radiates to everybody else. When you're not loving on you, that love you're trying to get to everybody else is fake. Number two, stop just liking the reflection you see in the mirror start loving it. We all have flaws. We all have things that we really don't like about ourselves. But we're imperfectly perfect, so they are okay. You were made the way you were supposed to be. Number three, accept you, express you, and force the world to respect you. Your presence is a true gift. Never ever forget that. Number four, the most important peace treaty you can ever have is between you and yourself. Because there is a definite mental tug of war going on between your ears. And you got the negative voices over here, you got the positive voices over here, and they're in direct conflict. It's your job to make sure that they come together in harmony and those positive voices push those negative voices to the background. That's how you love yourself. Number five, remember, you are a work of art, a masterpiece. So set your standards really, really high and give all that negative energy, that negative tension, a lifelong release. God don't make no junk. He took your canvas and created a classic. Number six, make sure you are your own Valentine. And show yourself some love each and every day. Take yourself out on a date. Watch your favorite movie. Do whatever it is you like to do. But each and every day, be your own Valentine. And spend a little bit of personal time with you, yourself, and you. Number seven, never underestimate the power of you. You are even more amazing than you give yourself credit for. So when they hate, 
you can't relate. They gonna try to tear you down. That's when you gonna bear down and remind yourself, I am not what you trying to make me out to be. I am me and I love it. Number eight, release yourself from those mental handcuffs and believe in you. Because believe you me, you are more than enough. The biggest fight of your life is always between you and you. And so you got the key to unlock those mental shackles and set yourself free. Number nine, now this is a super important one. You should be saying this one each and every day. I, insert your name, will take time to love me and stop placing other people above me. See, that's what's happening to you. You forget about yourself. You pour so much into other people that you neglect you. And it's okay to pour into other people, but make sure you pour into you as well because you deserve it and you need it. Last but not least, number 10, word to the wise. Never apologize for saying no and living life through the vision you see in your own eyes. Self-love starts with you and everybody's not gonna understand it, everybody's not gonna see it, but protect your peace Protect your mindset and use these affirmations as a reminder of the self-love you should have each and every day. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Self-love is the best love. Never forget about you. This is a great day to win. Let's go. So today is International Celebrate the Gift of You Day. I'm claiming it. Whether it is or not, don't even matter. I want you to do yourself a huge favor and roll the red carpet out for you. You are the star of your movie. You are the superstar of your show. I need you to accept your blessings and reject your stressings. I need you to look out for you today. I need you to be comfortable in your own skin today. I need you to be okay by yourself just for a brief moment in time. I need you to give them the hand and say, nope, not today. I'm doing for me. I'm rolling the red carpet out for me and whatever it is I want to do, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Don't you understand? You deserve it. It's time for you to reserve it. This moment in time, it's all about you. Life is a series of moments and you spend so many moments trying to do for other people, which is fine. But it's not okay when you're not okay because you're not doing for yourself. You're not feeding your soul. You're not protecting your inner peace. You're not giving yourself the quality time that you need with you, just doing what you want to do. So I need you to roll that red carpet out for yourself because you have earned it. Don't think for one moment that that other person is not gonna continue to use and abuse you until you're all used and abused up. You have to be strong enough to stop that and say, you know what? You're happy. Why are you okay if I'm feeling crappy? So now it's time for me to let the sun shine on me and block all of your negativity and all your shade because today, I ain't feeling it. And you're 100% right. Stop caring about what they think. Because I promise you, they don't want to see you expand. They want to see you shrink. And you got to let them know that's not happening. So I want you to roll the red carpet out for yourself. And walk into today with a whole bunch of confidence and a lot more love for self. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go. More self-love. 
let self-doubt. Let the great energy in and kick the hate energy out. My whole quest in life is to get you to like you. No, no, no. It's to get you to love you. So this self-love conversation, it's all about you. It starts and ends with you. Because for far too long, you've allowed your happiness to be dictated by somebody else. I want you to understand that if you don't love yourself, nobody else is gonna respect you. If you don't love yourself, then you're giving everybody else fake love. If you don't love yourself, how can you be happy? How can you be truly happy? So I'm here to remind you that you control your path to happiness. Sometimes you just gotta put your foot down and say enough is enough. No, I will not do that. No, you're not gonna determine how I feel today. No, the way you feel about me never has to be the way I feel about myself. If they're feeding you positive energy, it's perfectly okay for you to absorb it, process it, and give it the exact same meaning. But if they're trying to tear you down, if they're trying to break you, you let them know, stop. Nope, ain't hearing it, ain't feeling it, ain't having it. I'm at a breaking point, and now it's time for me to break through. And I said, I'm gonna love on myself a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that I'm okay first. I'm gonna put my mask on first. Then I got you. But stop leaning on me so hard when I'm not ready. Stop leaning on me so hard when I'm not feeling myself. Give me some room. Back up, give me 50 feet. Allow me to breathe. It's time for you to love on you a lot more. It's time for you to do something for you each and every day. It's time for you to make sure you're okay. Because for far too long, you've been checking for everybody else. And that's perfectly okay as long as you're checking for yourself too. So just in case no one tells you today, you are a treasure and you are valuable beyond measure. More self-love. And once you subscribe to that thought process, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go.